as a photographer, there's only one thing that's important, and that is the print quality of your pictures. Yes, having the best camera is great, the best lighting is great, the best environment is great, but if you take pictures and you give them to your clients, they need to be the best possible. So, what I did, I went online and I looked at six different companies and I had the pictures printed. I'm gonna show you the quality, the shipping cost, the shipping package, how long it took to ship, and how much each one cost. Let's check it out. I'm gonna start out with from my left to right. This company is called Pick Pro. The next company is Printer Picks. Then you have Nations Photo Lab. You have MPix, Shutterfly, White Wall, and Walmart. Let me show you the packaging. The first two companies I'm discuss is Pick Pro Lab and Walmart. They both came in envelopes because I walked in and picked both of them up. So it's really not fair to compare their shipping packages. The first company that I actually had shipped is Printer Picks. This is how Printer Picks came in. Comes in a cardboard box, I mean a cardboard container, and it says do not bend, but as you see, it got bent. As you see, it was bent. Now, it's not Printer Picks' fault. The mailman shoved it in but if that is going to be a possibility, this is something that could happen. Then inside you have your pictures are in a plastic wrap and they did arrive safe. So the next company is Nation's Photo Lab. This is how Nation Photo Lab, it's more of a box type and you open it, open it, it's hugged in here, slides out, and then your pictures are in another little cardboard sandwiched in between two, um, two pieces of cardboard, sandwiched in between two pieces of cardboard. So this is what your nation's photo lab. Then the next is MPix. Again, it's like, we've all seen this. It's a pretty sturdy container pretty sturdy cardboard container and then the pictures also have a slice of a sheet of cardboard inside the plastic so again these arrived they were all in my mailbox they were pretty safe the next you have Shutterfly Shutterfly is very similar to the MPix thick little shipping envelope Pictures are inside, again, piece of cardboard for added security and some plastic. Again, this is very thin, goes right into your mailbox. Just how easy theirs fits. Because of the width, it fits just perfect. The second company is Shutterfly. Shutterfly, again, because of the width, fits perfectly. The next company is Nation's Photo Lab. Again, because of the width, fits perfectly. The height isn't an issue. Now, here is printer picks. Because of the width, it doesn't really fit, so the mailman had to bend it. The width and the length. It was in there, but it was bent. So, maybe their packaging is okay, it's just the size of the packaging. Then last is white wall. I actually have to back the camera up to show you this one. Here's white wall. Again, a little box, the cardboard forms into a little baby thin shipping box. Open it, open it, you think you're done, open it again. Then it is sandwiched in between some little cardboard tabs. Then you have this big envelope 
which has a little cardboard on the back, a little sheet of cardboard. Then your pictures are nice and safe inside of some paper. Nice and safe inside of some paper. I will say this about all the pictures, they all arrived. Regardless which one had better shipping material, which one seemed more secure, they all arrived nice and safe except the printer picks. The printer picks, my pictures resemble this box. They're just bent up on the corner. Again, I'm not saying it's printer picks' fault. Clearly the mailman shoved it in there and it bent the pictures, but that's what happened. So now let's look at the quality of each picture, which is probably the most important. And then we'll talk about cost. Right here, I have all seven pictures laid out. I did a sweet 16 and this young lady was amazing. So all seven pictures, exact same photo. And I've done this particular test a few times. I've shown all these pictures to multiple people individually and I've shown them all collectively. Right here, I'll start with this particular picture. This is the one from Walmart. Now, individually, this picture is not a bad picture at all. This picture right here is from MPix. Now, looking at MPix next to the one at Walmart, you can tell that there is a difference. So, I'm not saying that Walmart is bad. Walmart has their place very fast if you need a picture printed in a day, Walmart is the route to take. They can have it printed within an hour. Compared to the rest, Walmart's quality, even the paper, doesn't stand up to the rest. This particular paper, it feels like super, super high quality printer paper at home, but these feel more professional. So, with that being said, Walmart was $2.84 and it took like two hours for me to get it. All right, I'm still Walmart to the side. Now, with these six that's here, I'm looking at the camera. This, you see as I lift it up, it gets rid of that little glare. So let me see if I can close the window. No, nope, didn't make a difference. Okay, so as I lift this one up, this is from printer picks. I'll show you the bend. So if you can see, the picture is slightly bent. Like I said, because of the shipping, there's a slight bend in it. And you can see it right there. There's a slight bend in it. I would not give this out to the client. I would have to get this reprinted. But seeing them all together like this, this particular one right here, is the one that everyone raves over. It's hard on camera to see which one is the best. Individually, again, they're all pretty much a goal. Collectively, this one is the one that everyone likes. This one is from White Wall, but the problem with this one is it costs $14.95. So with that being said, let me tell you all the prices. So right here, this is Pic Pro, and this was $2.50. In the middle, this is Printer Picks. This was $4.49. Over here on the end, this is Nation's Photo Lab. This was $2.24. Right here is M Picks. This is $2.79. In the middle, this is White Wall, and this was $14.95. The last one is Shutterfly, this is $2.96. Looking at them all together, this is the picture I like the most. This is just beautiful. I mean, it, I don't even know if the camera can tell you just how pretty this picture is. Beautiful picture. Okay, now let's talk about how easy it is to get the pictures from your computer to the company. 
Walmart, in my opinion, is probably the easiest because one, you can go to the store. Once you're in the store, you can use a flash drive, you can use an SD card, you can use your cell phone, you can email it to Walmart. There's multiple ways you can get them the actual image that you want printed. But after that, I, th I don't think Walmart compares to the other six in quality. As far as speed, Walmart will work just fine. It's not a bad option, but if you have the time, I would go with one of the other six. Printer Pro Lab, I was able to walk into them because they just happened to be local to me. So I didn't use their online app or their, or their software. I didn't go to their website and upload the pictures, but for the other five, I did. They're all pretty comparable you simply upload, you know, drag and drop the image onto that particular website's platform and then you can move the pictures around, a little bit of editing, crop here, there, rotate the picture. So they all work fine in that regard. Now, as far as Walmart and Picture Pro Lab, I picked them up in person. So the shipping time wasn't an issue. But we're gonna go with printer picks. Printer picks took an outstanding 14 days for me to get it. 14 days was printer picks. Nation's Photo Lab took four days. Uh, M Picks took three days. White Wall took five days. Shutterfly took eight days. All the pictures were submitted on the exact same day. So it went from three days with your MPix all the way to 14 days with printer picks. So if time is an issue, you can always go at Walmart or MPix or Nation's Photo Lab. For me, the combination of shipping material, the speed, and the cost for me i like nation's photo lab the best now this is not a sponsored video by any of these companies they don't even know that i'm making the video i just did this on my own just to show everyone out there the difference between if you want your pictures from walmart or if you want your pictures from an online professional company this is white wall 15 dollars is walmart what was Walmart? Two dollars and eighty-four cents. It's a noticeable difference. I don't know if it picks up on the camera. It is noticeably better. So, like I said, I like Nation's Photo Lab so much that I bought a photo album from them. I actually bought. Let me show them to you. Right here is the photo album that I got from Nation's Photo Lab comes in this big box and they really pride themselves in packaging. Right here is all the material. It comes in a box, it's bubble wrapped. Each book gets its own little wrapping. Each book is individually wrapped. I mean, look at this, all this bubble wrap. And it's bubble wrap, I had to do it. Okay, so this is what I got. I got four, four five by seven books. And there's a picture of the young lady on the front. And then I got two large eight by 11s. What I like about these books is they lay flat. And what I mean is when you open the book, the pictures lay perfectly flat. Some companies call it panoramic. Uh, Nations Photo Lab just calls it lay flat. Here's a comparison. Here's a photo book that I got from Walmart. Seems like I'm picking on Walmart, not the case. Not the case at all, I'm just showing. So you see the difference. This is more like a traditional book where it bows and this is the lay flat. Once you see lay flat, you'll never want this again. So. I liked 
Nations Photo Lab so much that I went and spent an additional $314 on two large fam uh, photo books. All these just lay flat. Just, just amazing. I mean, this book is amazing. Out of both books, they got about 350 pictures and then four small books with an additional 200 pictures. So they got over 400 pictures and they're all these little lay flats. This is a high quality book. Each picture looks just as good as their luster. The luster photo, uh, the luster picture that I had printed, the eight by eight by 10 and the little five by seven does the exact same thing. It lays flat as well. Very high quality pictures. So that was why I made this video because I wanted to know who I should have these pictures printed through because I did a, a photo shoot for this young lady and I wanted to know who was gonna be the best quality for them. So, as usual, I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up and I will be sure to answer. One last thing, all the links to all of the printing websites will be down below in case you wanna go check them out. Again, not one of them sponsored me, none of them even know I'm making the video. This was for my own personal benefit, and I thought I would just pass the knowledge on to you guys. Nations Photo Lab is who I went with because the prices were great. This particular book for, I believe it's 180 pictures in this book was $70. That's crazy, $70. So, now you guys have a good day.